God's word is settled. Now, whether you take your healing or not, His word is settled. You're watching Atmosphere of Love. Coming up on Atmosphere of Love. Children can be upheld by the word of God. Your marriage can be upheld by the word of God. Your business can be upheld by the word of God. Your relationship can be upheld by the word of God. Will you allow? Now we don't try to obey God's word. If you are a new creation, you are born again to do the word of God. Is it hard to be a human being? It's not hard to be a human being. So long as you are born, you live as a human being. You don't need to. Hello, I'm Apostle Edmonds and I'm personally inviting you for 2014 BTS. It starts from 18th through to 1st of June 2014. Wherever you are coming from, we have made preparation for you. I want you to make it a date. Your life will never remain the same. Are you a pastor? Are you a housewife? Are you even a servant woman or something? Are you a student? I want to tell you that this BTS session is for you. One word from God will change your life forever. Block your seats now because we have limited seats available and registration closes May 11. Details are on the screen. Use it. Call now and register. Just 1,500 rupees. Your life will never remain the same. Call now. Use the details on your screen. Don't miss this edition of BTS 2014. God bless you. Atmosphere of love. Now, let me just read the words as, as it is in the Bible so you can get it. The entrance of thy words giveth light. It giveth understanding unto the simple. That's what the Bible says. So when God's word enters you, when you allow God's word to enter you, if you don't rate which one you want to accept and the one you want to disbelieve, you can only disbelieve what people say. You cannot disbelieve God's word. If God's word say you should have no other God, that's what the word say. You can't disbelieve it. You can disbelieve what people say, but you cannot disbelieve what God's word says. So you cannot disagree with what the word of God says, even though you can disagree with what a preacher says. But you see, a preacher that preaches the word of God, you cannot disagree with what he says. You cannot say, well, I accept this one, and this one I, re I reject it. If you're that kind of a Christian, your life will be in a cycle of bondage. It will keep happening. Your experience will keep happening. Your experience will keep happening. Your experience will keep happening. Why? The entrance of the word gives light. When light enters a circle of bondage, that cycle is broken. But when you are, when you are thinking, what am I going to do? How am I going to take it? Uh, no, I, I accept this one. I don't accept this one. I will not do this one. I will do this one. When you regulate the word of God, you become Lord of your life. Did you hear me? Did you hear what I said? You cannot regulate the word of God. The word of God should regulate you. You know fan regulator? Fan regulator. Uh, what regulates the fan? Fan or the regulator? The regulator. God's word is the believer's regulator. We will not regulate the word of God. We will not say, no, no, this one I will not take. That one I will take. This one, mm, mm, this is too much. It's too spiritual. God's word cannot be too spiritual. You are made as a spirit. You live in a body. You have a soul. So you cannot be too spiritual. You cannot receive God's word and become too spiritual. Are you still here? Don't look for help where there is no help. Don't look for answer where there is no answer. God's word has the final say. When I woke up to this, when I got to know this, my level in the realm of the spirit changed. Why? Because in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. Knowing the word is knowing God. Having the integrity of the word is having key to answers in your life. And people in my family started asking, why is he so wise? Why does he act the way he does? It is because the word of God entered. When God's word enters, wisdom that surpasses your age and experience enters your spirit. When God's word enters into you, 
you, you, you will not depend on your experience. You will depend on His experience. And He's got all the experience that you need in this life and in the life to come. Don't search for answers where there are no answers. Don't search for help where there is, where there is no help. A lot of people, when they get sick, the first thing they do, they go check with a doctor. When they go check with the doctor, the doctor tells them they have cancer. Fear of cancer kills them first before the disease starts eating up their flesh. Why do you have to wait to hear the doctor say something to you before you believe God? You believe Him. He said, those who find my word and keep it in their heart and don't remove it from their eyes, that my word will be medicine to all their flesh, he says. My word will be what? Medicine to all their flesh. Why do you have to wait for doctor to say, there is no hope? Then you turn around again and you call Jesus your Lord. That's Judah's kind of character. That's betrayal. You wait for the, for the doctor to tell you that there is no hope. You waited for medicine to tell you, now we can't do anything anymore. And then you come back, Pastor. Back. <laughs> Dry tears, dry tears, dry tears. May God never give you a situation that will force you to trust his word. Can you say amen? amen. May he never give you. Take the instruction today. Otherwise, you'll find out that there is no help in any other place. There is no answer in any other place. God's word has help for you. God's word has final answer for you. Amen? Amen. 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 People may call you a bad man. People may call you a bad girl. But make sure that your character is not what they are criticizing. And if that is true, care less about what people say about you. God's word is final. God's word is what? They may say you're a stingy boy, stingy girl. You always hold what belongs to you. You don't give anything to anybody. Da, 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 da. They won't talk about you a certain way. But I tell you, if you know that that is not a personal character problem, be rest assured. God didn't say it, care less about it. People live life for other people. Oh, what will my friends say about my suit? Would they say it's branded or they say it's not branded? Why do you care about it? Who is wearing the suit? You. So, but he said, I love my friend. You love your friend, you wear your suit for your friend, then you buy the kind of suit your friend wants. Yeah, so you live for people. People live for people. Don't live a life to please people. Are you there? Understand who you are. Discover your true identity in Christ Jesus. And you will not live depending on what people say about you. Whether they think you're ugly, pretty, tall, thin, slim, fat. Don't care about that. What does God say? I am beautiful and wonderfully made. I am made in his image and in his likeness. That's enough for me. If you don't like the way my nose look or my color look, you go make your nose look the way you want your nose to look. I, my nose look the way I am, and I love my nose the way it is. I love my color the way it is. I have discovered the wonderful me in him. So therefore, I'm not trying to search what can make me better. I'm not trying to search what can make me more important. I am already a VIP in God's list. Amen. I've discovered these things. Why? Because God's word says final things. God's word speaks finally. Let's look at this verse before a round of this morning and my sister will come and give you in time. Verse 89, same chapter. Verse 89, same chapter. Same chapter, Psalm 119, verse 89. Psalm 119, verse 89. Now, this is a very beautiful word. I remember the songwriter that says, Forever. O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven, it is settled forever, forever. O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven, it is settled. God's word is settled. Now, whether you take your healing or not, his word is settled about healing. Whether you are poor, pretty or ugly, his word is settled about you. You are beautifully and wonderfully made. That is settled. Whether you buy... <laughs> I almost laughed when I thought what I want to say. Whether you buy Lakme lip, lip gloss <laughs> or you buy roadside lip gloss. 
you are beautifully and wonderfully made with or without the lip gloss are you here are you here say but i have short hair i'm not so comfortable with short hair hey whether you have a long hair or a short hair, you are beautifully and wonderfully made. God's word has settled it. When they pack the product and put it in the warehouse for sale, you don't go and alter it anymore. It is finished. It is what? Finished. When you are made in him, you are made complete. When you are made in him, nothing was missing and nothing was broken. God has finished the business. It is done. Now what you have to do, you walk in the light of it. You accept what he's done. You don't try to try to see in what somebody would say. Try to see. Some people want to fight with the devil. No, Jesus already defeated the devil. I walk in his tracks of victory and I announce the blood of Jesus. I say, this is what the blood says. Satan, you back off. I say what Jesus said. And that's the definition of confession. You say it's homologia. He said, saying the same things with God. Saying the same things with God. So God says, I'm beautifully and wonderfully made. I don't define myself what I see in the mirror. Your eyes is deceiving you. Ask your neighbor, are your eyes deceiving you? Hear the word of God today. Say, ask your neighbor, are your eyes deceiving you? Hear the word of God today. Some people say, my legs are too thin. All right. But God made it like that, beautifully. It is beautiful and wonderfully made. Now, let's read that verse. So beautiful. I sang it, but let's read it. It's not for singing. It's for reading. It's for studying. Let's read it. Verse 89. Forever. No, for Sundays. For Sundays. For Wednesdays. Uh, for birthdays. For anniversaries. For December's. <laughs> Someone is agreeing, yes, for that one. Yes, for that one. Oh, which one are you? Are you for December only? For, for uh, 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 mind you, December is not Jesus' birthday also. Uh huh. Just get that and say, Pastor, why did you say that? You better study properly. Okay. All right. Is it for Christmas? No. Forever. Are you here? Are you here? Someone say, I don't like this book. This book is ancient book. The all the English is ancient English. Forever, His word is settled. Whether you like it or not, His word is settled. Come on, let's read together. For, 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 for. Oh Lord, thy word is settled. Thank God it's not on earth because economy will just change and the word will just change value. Are you here? Listen to me. That word settled is taken from the Hebrew word natsab. And that word means to erect, to establish, to put unmovably. Are you hearing me? When God spoke his word concerning the human race, it was erect. It was founded. It was unmovable. That's why the sun every day rises without fail. Did you hear what I said? That's why the ocean doesn't cross its limit. Say, but the other time the ocean crosses its limit, that's why it's not the work of God. Are you here? That which crosses the limit is not the work of God. It's the work of Satan. Say, who? The soul told me it's the work of God. No, it's not the work of God. The earth groans for the cruel master that is ruling who's the cruel master satan is the cruel master the enemy of god is the cruel master he's the one ruling how dare how dare people think that god is ruling and people are poor on the street god will rule the world like that a pitiable rule that will be what do you think people dying on the street i just told you about rape cases it's increasing by the numbers do you think god is ruling this world with such nonsense conditions you're watching Atmosphere of Love. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. GTS has been a wonderful blessing for us. Then speak up to speak up for this class. Actually, I have no clue what is BTS, okay? And uh, especially, I've learned so much that God we have to do the word. We have to say the word, meditate. It's changed my life. And I know from now onwards, I can go out into this world. Thank God for bringing Pastor Edmonds and Pastor Joanna to India. And Pastor AC training session. Here we believe in uh, God's word. So we believe in putting that word in our spirit. Because God is not waiting to give us blessings materialistically. 
but God is waiting to give us His word into our spirits. So here we prepare you in this basic training to give the word of God into your spirits. I know you are all hungry. You want to learn the word. You have been looking for for it in the Bible. We are plugged and focused into your revelation. Our hearts are open. Heal us today. Change us so we can be effective word changers. Hello. I'm Apostle Edmonds and I'm personally inviting you for 2014 BTS. It starts from 18th through to 1st of June 2014. Wherever you are coming from, we have made preparation for you. I want you to make it a date. Your life will never remain the same. Are you a pastor? Are you a housewife? Are you even a servant woman or something? Or are you a student? I want to tell you that this BTS session is for you. One word from God will change your life forever. Block your seats now because we have limited seats available and registration closes May 11. Details are on the screen. Use it. Call now and register. Just 1,500 rupees. Your life will never remain the same. Call now. Use the details on your screen. Don't miss this edition of BTS 2014. God bless you. Atmosphere. Do you think God is ruling this world with such nonsense conditions? No way. People are committing suicide. And God will rule this world system? No way. God is not ruling the world system. Satan is running all about doing evil work. And that's why we are here saying Jesus has finished the work. Satan leave. Satan leave that boy. Satan leave that girl. That's why we're on television. That's why we're on books. That's why we're writing it, because we're sending the word of deliverance, healing, uh, to people all around the world. Why? Because God has finished the work of salvation. People believe and people get into it. Can you say amen? amen. So the word settled means appoint. The word settled means erect. The word settled means to set over, to establish. So, if you build your business in a country whose economy is not strong, what happened to your business? Not strong. If you build your business or you build your family in laws or ways of life that is not strong, what happened to your family? Not strong. If you build your relationship with people based on how you feel and the flowers they give you and the text they send you, Sometimes they won't send you any text and you feel bad about them. So it's not strong. Not today. Everything you do as a child of God should be built on what? The word of God. God's word is settled. Now whether you feel it, you like it or not, the word of God is what? Settled. Now I don't feel like worshipping God. His word says I should. I will worship him. Did you hear what I said? So we don't feel... We do what the Word of God says. Now, we don't try to obey God's Word. If you are a new creation, you are born again to do the Word of God. Is it hard to be a human being? It's not hard to be a human being. So long as you are born, you live as a human being. You don't need to pray to live as a human being. Hello? Hello? Whether you are famous, success, pretty, ugly, you are a human being. The basic class is a human being. You don't need to pray to be a human being. In the same way, when you are born again, you don't need to ask God to do His Word. You don't need to pray and cry for you to do His Word. No. You are born again to do His Word. If you are having difficulties in doing God's Word, there are two reasons. One, you are lazy, you are telling lies, or you are not born again. If you are born again, you will be able to do the Word of God. Why? The Bible says His seed is inside of us. God's seed is inside of us. What will he bring forth? God's word. God's seed will bring forth what? God's word. Hallelujah. Don't rest your relationship based on your feeling. It will fail. Don't rest your family on your family tradition. It will break. It will fail. Don't build your business on your own psychology. It will fall down. It will break. It will fail. Build your business on God's word. Build your family on the word of God. Build your relationship on the word of God. Today, tomorrow, and forever, the word of God is settled. It doesn't change. No country currency can affect the effectiveness of God's word. No business can affect the effectiveness of God's word. God's word remains the same, whether in the morning, 
in the noon or in the night time. God's word remains the same. When the word of God says that by his stripes you were healed, it is final. It has settled it. Whether you accept it or you reject it, by God's word and provision, your sins and your diseases have been provided for. Whether you die sick as a saint, that's your problem. Because God's word is what? Settled. Whether you accept a sickly lifestyle or a divine health lifestyle, that's your problem. God's word is settled. He said, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospers. He's spoken it. It is settled. He wishes above all things that you prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. So whether you accept it or not, his word is settled. Gifts will not survive you in the time of rainy time and stormy time. Sweet words will not survive you. It will not sustain you. Are you here? Philosophy will not sustain you. Tradition will not sustain you. Are you here? Yes. Sweet words will not sustain you. God's word will. Why? He said, he upholds all things by the word of his power. Hebrews chapter 1. He upholds how many things? All things. He upholds how many things? All things. All things. Your children can be upheld by the word of God. Your marriage can be upheld by the word of God. Your business can be upheld by the word of God. Your relationship can be upheld by the word of God. Will you allow God's word to uphold you? If you give room for God's word to uphold you, you will be the same all the time. Winter time, you're still happy. Summer time, you're still happy. Rainy season, you're still happy. All the seasons, you will be static. You will be the same. Bible says in the book of Hebrews, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. Why? Because he's the word of God made flesh. God's word doesn't change. Tell your neighbor for me. One more time. One more time. The strongest of character is built on the word of God. Why? Because the word of God is stronger than the strongest. No insurance like God's word. You talk about protection for your marriage and your children. You can't find that in insurance. You can only get that in God's word. God's word never change. Understand this brother. God's word is final. God's word is what? Final. When you are sick and broken. Your gifts will not heal you. Your gift will not help you. God's word will. Because he created your body. He said, by, he said, by whom all things were created. And nothing was created without the word of God. All things were created by the word of God. Never base your relationship based on how you feel about someone. You will be changing every time. Never base your commitment to the gospel on your salary. You will not be consistent. Are you here? Base your commitment to people and to the gospel by the word of God. Say to God, you have, prosperity, you have pleasure in the prosperity of your sins. Therefore, I am lifetime committed to preaching the gospel and to giving for the gospel. Because why? He has pleasure in the prosperity of his sins. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs chapter 37, it says that. He has pleasure in prosperity of his sins. Saints, as we round this off, make up your mind today. I will not follow how I feel. I will not follow what people say. I will not follow what result they give to me. I will follow what God's word says about my finances, about my family, about who I am. I will not fashion myself based on what popular thing they are talking about. I will fashion myself based on God's word. Amen? I'm going to give you two, three minutes to pray. And change your mind concerning things you have concluded about your business, about your marriage, about your relationship. You thought it was not nice, or you thought it's frustrating. But now, if you can repent, I remember the time in our life. I wish I had more time. I remember the time in our life where I and my wife, we're born again, we're saved. We're ministers of the gospel. But one time, we, we come to know this, and we said we want to commit our whole family to the hands of Jesus. We didn't. We've been ministers of the gospel. <laughs> so we said to ourselves, now, Jesus, you are the Lord of this family. You take care of my daughters, you take care of my children, you take care of us. We commit everything to you. We understood the regulating power of the word of God and we submitted to it that day. And from that day, devil and us were like opposite poles of the magnet. We couldn't stick together. Why? Because light and darkness cannot dwell together. Sweet and bitter don't dwell together, even though you have some masala that tastes like that. <laughs> Are you here? Now bow your head. Hello.
Welcome to the session of prayer in atmosphere of love. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. No matter what situation you're facing right now, it's time to pray. We will command it. We have been given the highest name. We can command that situation. We can demand it to change. And it will change. Let us pray. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray for everyone under the influence of the words of life, eternal life from the lips of your servant in the studio today. I decree in the name of Jesus, freedom. Let it be freedom. Freedom for everyone bound. Freedom for everyone sick. Freedom for everyone in financial crisis. In the name of Jesus Christ, I demand that that loan be paid. I demand favor upon that family in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That one waiting for an ultimatum, for a target, and the time is about to run out. Father, I command a miracle for the time that is left for that expectation. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, whatever situation our viewers are facing, right now I join my faith together with their faith, and I declare freedom, freedom. Freedom, freedom in your body, freedom in your finances, freedom in your emotion, freedom, freedom in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. In your career, in your academics, I declare freedom. That bondage is over. That failure is over. I speak the way out. I release my words in Jesus Christ's name. The way out has come for you. Be free in Jesus' name. I declare freedom. I declare freedom in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Be free, be free, be free, be free in Jesus' name. Amen. If you've prayed that prayer with us, I want to share this with you. We receive testimonies. We receive feedback. Let yours be one. One testimony will prove that Jesus is who he said he is. And the Bible is what he claims to be. Until we come your way in our next telecast, this Apostle Edmund saying to you that Jesus is Lord, you were healed. Hello, I'm Apostle Edmonds and I'm personally inviting you for 2014 BTS. It starts from 18th through to 1st of June 2014. Wherever you are coming from, we have made preparation for you. I want you to make it a date. Your life will never remain the same. Are you a pastor? Are you a housewife? Are you even a servant woman or something? Are you a student? I want to tell you that this BTS session is for you. One word from God will change your life forever. Block your seats now because we have limited seats available and registration closes May 11. Details are on the screen. Use it. Call now and register. Just 1,500 rupees. Your life will never remain the same. Call now. Use the details on your screen. Don't miss this edition of BTS 2014. God bless you. Thank you for watching Atmosphere of Love. We know you have been blessed. To partner with us, use the details now showing on the screen. Jesus is Lord.